All right, my next guest believes that torture uh, memos prove that we didn't torture. David Rifkin is a former Justice Department official under George H.W. Bush. He's now co-chairman of the Center for Law and Counter of, uh, Terrorism at the Foundation uh, for the Defense of Democracies. Uh, you believe that these procedures that we've described here are not torture, is that correct? Absolutely, and, and the proof is in the pudding. If you look at these memos, they describe, by the way, out of a 10 techniques being described in the memo, nine have been used in the SEER program. And with all due respect to Mr. Morris, uh, one of the key pieces of evidence that the lawyers relied upon is the fact that there have been two congressional investigations into the SEER program long before 9 11, because Congress likes to investigate how military treats its own people, be it Naval Academy, uh, training accidents, or this type of training. Both uh, uh, both congressional investigations gave it a clean bill of health. Yet over 40,000 Americans have gone for this program. Lots of them actually were waterboarded. Not all, but lots of them. They have been followed up by psychiatrists. David, at, uh, David, uh, five-year uh, intervals. David, have you ever, none of them found. Have none you of them ever, found. David Rifkin, have you ever served in the military? No, I have not. So you haven't come not, close. You, you haven't. You, for one, have not come close to going through this program, right? Uh, and I would not, you, frankly, would not like to, you, but that's not the point. Let me, it is the point because your point is it's not torture. I'm going to read to you what you're trying to tell America is not torture. You tell me that you could go through this and not feel tortured. While I was in the school, I lived like an animal. I was hooded, beaten, starved, stripped naked, and hosed down in the December air until I became hypothermic. At I one point, this. I couldn't speak because I was shivering so hard, Ed. thrown into a three-by-three-foot cage with only a rusted coffee can to piss in. Have you ever lived Ed, like Ed, that? How Ed, many days have you spent like that in your life? It is not the point. The point is this, that we have done this to over 40,000 of Americans in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. You had follow-up by trained psychiatrists and psychologists, which I'm not. Who looked at we it and did said, it this is to prepare them for torture. No, it was done wait, uh, to prepare uh, uh, them excuse for me. torture. Excuse That's me. why it As was done. As a matter done. of law, you, it's not a question of Think about what you're saying. You're basically saying we tortured 40,000 of our own people, but that's okay because we did them to prepare for torture. I didn't say torture. it's okay. No, but I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think we've developed <laughs> okay. useful information as a result of using no, that no, no, program. No, no. I'm talking about you're the Sierra. one who thinks this is no, a great you idea. Just, you just said never submit yourself to it. No, you just said that SEER was torture. So under your logic, we tortured 40,000 of our own people with full approval by Congress, with full approval by our military services. Or, or, SEER is not torture, in which case SEER is not torture, not by these techniques, which, by the way, were quite a bit milder than we've done to our own people. Bottom line is this. You're throwing the word torture around as if every cursive technique means torture. Torture is defined very precisely. Se in deliberate infliction of severe physical or mental pain and suffering. And for mental, did it has to be not, protracted. Did you not hear that description of severe pain and suffering, that is including his mental view. suffering? The, pain I can tell is you subjective. That I can tell you, look, under your logic, everything is torture. Every bit of no, inconvenience. No, everything is not torture, David, not at all. You're the defender of torture here. You're the one who's saying, I could take this. You could take it, right? How many days of this do you think you could take? Uh, my personal You wouldn't crack under this, right? Because it's not tough at all. This isn't torture, right? You can take it. Uh, and by the way, on the question of does it yield results, why don't you support what the vice president has called for? There are numerous classified memos, which are, by the way, referenced in the OSC memos. There is a memo by uh, CIA inspector general that goes for 90 pages describing the intelligence stake that was obtained. Why don't we declassify those memos David, and then the American people will be able our, to see? David, that's our one point of agreement. I want every one of those memos out. Up next.